Organ transplant rejection is a process in which a transplant recipient's immune system attacks the transplanted organ or tissue. There are four types of transplants, which are often referred to as grafts. The first type of transplant is called the autograft. Autografts are grafts that are taken from one part of the body and transplanted to another. This type of graft is never rejected because it is the person's own tissue. The second type of transplant is called an isograft. An isograft is when one tissue is transplanted from one identical twin to the other identical twin. This is also never rejected because the DNA is the same. The next type of graft is an allograft. This is a graft between genetically different members of the same species. For example, from one human to another. However, these graphs have varied degrees of success. As we move forward on our list of different types of transplants, we come to our last type. The last type is called a xenograft. These are graphs between members of different species, like from a monkey to a human, as you can see by Jenny's beautifully drawn pig monkey bear. These are rarely successful. There are two rejection mechanisms. In the first type, cytotoxic T cells and helper T cells attack and destroy the transplanted cells. The process is stimulated by the recognition of foreign MHC proteins on the surface of the graft cells. Class II MHC proteins stimulate helper T cells and class I MHC proteins are the sites that the cytotoxic cells recognize during their attack. The second rejection mechanism involves only helper T cells. The helper T cells are stimulated by class II MHC proteins and then release cytokines. The cytokines stimulate phagocytes to the graft tissue to secrete lysosomal enzymes which digest tissues, leading to dryness and thickening. Cell death or necrosis follows. There is also one more specific type that happens during the transplantation of bone marrow. In this type, the transplanted bone marrow may contain immune system cells that form immune products against the host after the host's immune system has been suppressed during transplant therapy. This type is known as a graft versus host reaction or GVHR. This reaction is opposite from the other two types of rejection because it is the graft rejecting the body rather than the body rejecting the graft. When this graft rejects the host, it can sometimes be fatal for the host. During these responses, some symptoms that the body experiences may include discomfort, uneasiness, or flu-like symptoms. Some more rare symptoms include pain or swelling in the area of the organ and fever. The symptoms depend on the transplanted organ tissue. For example, patients who reject a kidney may have less urine, and patients who reject a heart may have symptoms of heart failure. Signs that the organ is not working properly are also specific to the type of transplant. This immune response is a normal immune response because the body is simply reacting to something foreign within the body. Like I mentioned before, this immune response is invoked by the recognition of foreign MHC proteins on the surface of the graft cells. Organ transplant rejections cause an immune response that may be permanent, temporary, or recurring. The immune response may be permanent if the body never fully accepts the transplanted organ. This is called chronic rejection. Chronic rejection can take place over many years. The body's constant immune response against the new organ slowly damages the transplanted tissues or organ, and the recipient may have to take immune system suppressant medicine for the rest of their life. A temporary type of immune response occurs during hyperacute rejection. In this case, the antigens of the transplant are completely unmatched and the tissue must be removed right away so the recipient does not die. This type of rejection is seen when a patient is given the wrong type of blood. 
The immune response may be recurring in the case of an acute rejection. Acute rejection may occur any time from the first week after the transplant to three months afterward. All recipients have some amount of acute rejection. Single episodes of acute rejection rarely lead to organ failure. Some organ and tissue transplants are more successful than others. If rejection begins, medicines that suppress the immune system may stop the rejection. Even though medicines are used to suppress the immune system, organ transplants can still fail because of rejection. Chronic rejection is the leading cause of organ transplant failure. The organ slowly loses its function and symptoms start to appear. This type of rejection cannot be effectively treated with medicines. Some people may need another transplant. Rejection becomes less likely over time. However, it may develop even years after the surgery. That's why it's key to keep on top of your condition and get regular checkups.